have made it to Lisbon into our beautiful, spacious Airbnb. It is really nice and it seems to be close to everything downtown that we want to see, but we'll confirm that when we start walking around. We've freshened up and I'm going to go explore a little bit. We have dinner reservations in about an hour, so make it to that and then ambulance in the background. <laughs> I've been stretching out my ankles and walking on them to get them exercise. So a lot of the pain has kind of subsided. Still a little soreness. We can get the, this pain to go away so I can walk some long distances the next four days here in Lisbon. All day exploring Lisbon, took the ferry across the river for lunch and had a beautiful view of the shoreline of Lisbon. It was really great food as well. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way. And I won't stop, I won't slow down Standing on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time We just spent the last four hours just kind of relaxing at our Airbnb But we've got ready and we're gonna relax for a few more minutes Before we go to our photo night So to hear some live photo music and have dinner <laughs> So after a long night of drinking so much wine at the photo night, which was amazing, we started our morning with a pastel donata and it was delicious. Aaron's not a huge fan of cust eggy custard, but what did you think? You had a bite of mine. It was better than I expected. It did stick to my teeth, um, which was interesting, but honestly not, not terrible. Yeah, overall it was really good. Now we're headed to the train station. We're gonna make our way to the town of Kashkais and go explore there, lay by the beach, and enjoy the day. Cause I know what it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. All right, guys, no lie. The water is freezing. The coldest water I've ever felt. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way And I don't care if you spill coffee on me Or if the sky is gray or blue No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Standing on my feet I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop It is my time it is our last full day in Portugal. Got a little sunburnt yesterday from our little beach trip, even though I put sunscreen on, so hopefully I can kind of protect my skin today from the sun and heat. We've been talking about going to the Tile Museum pretty much all week, so I think we're finally gonna go to the Tile Museum today. And then this evening we have a food tour 
to hopefully try any remaining food that we haven't already tasted in all the restaurants we've eaten at. So super excited about that. Short. Size my thumb. <laughs> yeah. Like that that is the end. <laughs> that that's yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure she did a great job back in the day. After sightseeing in the morning, we went to Time Out Market where they have so many different food options and I had a delicious sandwich. Portugal is known for its distinct tiles known as azulejos. These tiles date back to the 15th century with geometric patterns and then over time transformed into an art form with Portuguese painters incorporating them into depict significant events from the country's history. Okay, so this thing. We had some time before our food tour started, so we thought we would go try some Ginginha, not knowing that we were going to meet a fun German couple that would buy us another round, as well as have some on our food tour. So let's count how many Ginginhas we actually ended up having. Krista had some extra film in her portable camera, took a picture of us, so nice, had so much fun. Now we're heading to the meat spot for our food tour and going to just sample so much food. It's like a three, three and a half hour tour. You're gonna be full afterwards. Normally I like to do food tours at the beginning of a trip, but this one we planned at the end. Had we done it at the beginning of our trip, we would have found out that there were escalators in certain parts of Lisbon. What a way to find out the last day of your trip. Hey, our last stop of the food tour is for a pastel de nada at the place that Aaron and I went to yesterday morning. So the one part of the tour that we've actually already tasted the food and already been to, but I'm still excited to have a pastel de nada. So I'm also excited. to catch our last sunset in Portugal before we leave tomorrow morning.